Uh, dear friends, uh, very welcome. Let me share the screen uh, of today's event. Okay, here it is. Okay, so uh, during this event, uh, we will have a, a launch of a new map, digital map. Uh, it's the global map of UBI networks. Uh, at the moment, we will see the real figures, but uh, on 13th of September, there were about 130 uh, UBI networks from 45 different countries. Uh, please share your email addresses in the chat box so that we will be able to send you the presentation materials. Uh, and also, we would like to invite you to the UBI advocates at googlegroups.com. And we would like to send uh, links, addresses um, of the surveys, web pages, Facebook pages, all that kind of stuff uh, through that email. And also invitations to future activities. And of course, uh, these slides are all public and can be used freely in any study or any media. Uh, what should I say regarding this project is that uh, this project have been developed and executed by working group number 51 uh, under the umbrella of the worldwide meetings of UBI advocates and UBI networks. And the project team includes Hannes Meher from Germany, Adimut Dukerdoğlu from Turkey, Peter Knight from Brazil. And also we would like to thank Luke Gosselin from Canada and Robin Kittelers from Netherlands and others who contributed to this process. When we talk about worldwide meetings, our worldwide meetings of UBI advocates and UBI networks, uh, maybe we better mention a few things about it. Uh, these meetings are uh, to share our for, I mean, we, why we are having these meetings. Our uh, target is to share experiences and information between UBI advocates and UBI networks. And also we would like to introduce an additional tool or we would like to introduce some derivative additional tools for communication, interaction, and collaboration between uh, UBI advocates. We have regular meetings and we have uh, working groups. Uh, the regular meetings are uh, having their meetings at the second and fourth Tuesdays starting from uh, June, and they are all at GMT 1430. Maybe I should say a few words about the working groups too. There's an email group, uh, we are handling the worldwide meetings. Uh, there's a record book of UBI advocates. Also, now you will see the details in future uh, minutes. Uh, we have the global map of UBI networks. Uh, Basic Income Worldwide Survey Group is doing interesting uh, survey studies. Basic Income March and UBI Talk on our walk are two uh, interesting outdoor activities we are after. So we have social media activities and also we are sharing tools, materials, and best practices between our uh, friends. Uh, also, we are trying to um, be close with major events and key positions uh, to advocates UBI. We are supporting ECI UBI campaign, and also, uh, maybe this is an interesting one, we are going to hold a simultaneous independent signature collection campaign starting by 25th of September. So when we come to the global map of UBI networks, in my mind, it is another infrastructural tool for UBI advocacy, for sharing experiences and for sharing information uh, between UBI networks and between UBI advocates, and also for communication, interaction, and collaboration between uh, them. So I will give the word to dear Hannes. Uh, dear Hannes, uh, word is yours. Yes, thanks so much. Um, I just wanted to talk a little about existing maps. So um, we didn't want to reinvent the, and the wheel, but uh, we, we did something new and that I want to share here. So I'll post a few um, links in the, in the chat and then just share my screen so that you can see what I'm seeing here. Um, there we go. And that is here. Yeah. So the first one is a map by the uh, Basic Income Lab in Stat Stanford, which has, by the nature of um, coming from a university, a research focus. 
And that has its purpose and that's great, but that's not our purpose because we want to connect um, networks and not necessarily basic income studies. A very similar map um, comes from a French network um, where you can also um, look at uh, where in the world experiments have been done and are um, being done right now. Um, and then how do I get this to, yes, okay. There's a European map, um, which is uh, a European collection of basic income networks. So that comes closer to our idea, but it's restricted to Europe. Um, by the way, Ali and Peter, um, I'm not sure to which degree we've contacted them all to be included in our map. Maybe this is something we can do um, afterwards. Um, and then there's also, oh, it doesn't even show the map, but by the contour, you can kind of see that this is Germany and then there's like Austria and Switzerland a little bit in here. So this is uh, German speaking uh, parts of Europe where there also exists a map. So you can, you can load them up yourself when you look in the chat. And um, yeah, so this is basically saying um, there are a couple of maps about UBI in the world existing already and being maintained as well. Um, but I think what is new for our purpose and for, for the map we created is that it's a map of networks, of UBI networks, doesn't have a research focus and doesn't have a geographical constraint. So um, it's not specifically for Europe or German speaking countries, but worldwide. And I want to take the opportunity to thank uh, especially Ali and Peter, because over the last couple of weeks, I wasn't able to dedicate as much time as I wanted into this project. And they've been doing this, um, which was pretty great. So. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hannes. Uh, the Peter, the Peter, would you like to continue? You are muted, Peter. Peter, you're muted. Oh, on mute. I was mute. Okay. No, it's okay. I'm going to share uh, my screen to show you how the map can be used and how it is being used now already on, on the website of the Sufficiency for Sustainability Network. Uh, the codes for embedding this map on a website will be available on the UBI Advocates and also here I will put it as well. To see how it works, you see first we have two different versions. One is called clustered because it doesn't clutter the map as much, but when you move in on an individual uh, network and click on it, then you, you see its name immediately. And if you click on the marker, you get details about the network. Can you see this okay? So it's possible to actually say, I want to look for uh, networks in India. So I click on India and it immediately will show me map networks that we have in India and their names are visible in this version of the map immediately. Now to show you how it works in the, in the uh, and these are all based on Google Earth, but they're uh, made in something called Easy Map Maker. Now the uncluttered clustered map makes it is more impressive in the number of of markers that you see immediately. However, um, you don't see their names because if you saw their names, it would, it would clutter it a lot. So, but it's also searchable. Suppose I look for Rio de Janeiro, for example. Well, let's say I'll go to Chennai in India. Let's, let's see about Beijing. Yeah, let's go to Beijing. This is great because I think we have a Chinese rep. So if I go to his marker in, in Beijing, I don't see what it is until I click on it. Then, then, there. Then we have information about it, what the purpose is, of course, where it's located, the URL and the email. That same information is available on the clustered map, but the difference between the clustered and unclustered is simply that you don't see the information immediately when you when you uh, when you do the look at the global map, you, you, you just see a lot of markers, which is impressive in, in its own right. Now, uh, also on, on the page that Ali uh, 
has set up. There's a, and also here uh, you can click on if you haven't registered your network or research institution or whatever, you can uh, click on this and you'll be taken to the to the uh, to the global map where you fill in your data and then we'll be able to include it in the next update of the maps. So I guess that pretty well covers it, Ali. Uh, anything else you? Uh, dear Peter, uh, I would like to say a few words. Uh, first of all, regarding uh, Hannes, uh, Hannes question, um, we try to reach as many uh, networks as possible, maybe more than 250 networks all around the world. But uh, we didn't put any network directly into the map. We prefer to have their consent. And also we prefer to have their updated data. That's why uh, we have more data, but it is the data we collected by ourselves, uh, not feed it by themselves. So that's why we, are, uh, we didn't yet put to there. So there are about 144 networks at the moment, but in our hands, maybe we have 250 networks all around the world. Uh, I would like to share one thing and then maybe we can continue with the questions and contributions. Maybe also some part participating networks can tell their feelings or expectations from this map. Uh, let me put uh, and this was Okay, I'm repeating once again, but uh, I think this is important. Uh, of course, you can see the chat box uh, for the links uh, that provided by the Hannes. But uh, if you put your email address in the chat box, then you will receive all the presentation materials and all the links, all the addresses, and uh, also future invitations. Uh, that's why uh, if you didn't yet, Please uh, put your email address in the chat box. Thank you. Uh, any friends who would like to contribute or ask questions? Uh, maybe Dear Shahabana is here from India. I see uh, Gadur is here from Iceland, Yano from Indonesia, Eva Maria from Hungary, Fru Cheng from China, and many friends from Turkey, and also Eduardo. Dear Eduardo is here also. Maybe we can start with Shobana and then continue with Eduardo. Is there any uh, questions at the moment? Le okay, let's hear Shobana. Shobana, what do you think about the map? What are your expectations? You are muted, Shobana. Okay. Um, my, I uh, appreciate the initiatives of Peter Knight, who has taken uh, very special efforts to collect the uh, NGOs who are working all over the world and uh, many of uh, our Indian uh, NGOs have uh, changed their idea to focus upon UBI. So that is the achievement of uh, Peter Knight, I feel, because already as uh, Mehrer was telling that uh, already some of the researches have gone by, underwent by Stanford University and other things, that's good. We will try to merge them also along with us. Suppose we can mail and we can ask them to fill it and we can incorporate that within our map also. And uh, we are just trying to gather a lot of NGOs in India because India is facing a lot of challenges of poverty and unemployment. And the universal basic income is the one and the only solution for India to save our poor people. So we are working very hard to implement it. And we I have wanna... found a lot of youngsters. Shobana, any feeling specific to the map? Yeah, the map should be, uh, as uh, Mehrer was saying, that we can incorporate the left out uh, UBI advocates also in our map. And we will, uh, other, uh, other NGOs we, we are trying to include, maybe before the 25th we will load our, from India, many uh, UBI advocates. Thank you very much, Ravana. Uh, maybe dear Senator Suplicy uh, from Brazil. Dear Eduardo. Yeah, well, uh, well I, I want to congratulate uh, the UBI Global Met 
of all networks that we do have. Uh, my, well, the Brazilian uh, basic income network was founded in 2004 in Barcelona, but uh, we formalized the organization of our network. And today we, uh, there is a growing interest in, in the basic income all over Brazil. I, uh, I, I'm trying to, uh, well, uh, during this coronavirus pandemic time, I have been interviewed uh, three, four, five times per day uh, all to so many cities where I've been talking about by in on live interviews. I have made more than 265 interviews uh, from one to two hours each. And uh, so I, I am very optimistic with our struggle and I hope to, to see the Basic Income Institute in Brazil um, during my life. I am 79 years old, I am, good, I am in good health and so I would like to help you in, in implementing the basic income during our lives uh, in Brazil and in so many other countries. Uh, and this will be very important for humanity. Congratulations to you all. Let me just tell you that uh, this morning in Brazil, President, uh, uh, Jair Bolsonaro announced that he will quit the idea of a Brazil revenue. So he will continue with the uh, Bolsa Familia and I hope that he uh, won't change what it is already approved by all parties in the, in the Brazilian National Congress to, for the basic income to be instituted step by step starting with those most in need first, such as the Bolsa Familia does it, such as the Emergencia Auxilium uh, does it today during this pandemic, and uh, until we soon uh, may have the universal, unconditional citizens' basic income in Brazil. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank I want to say to Eduardo and to everybody that the very first person that I ever heard of basic income from was Eduardo Suplicy in Washington in about 1994 or 5. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Eduardo is the, the senior UBI advocate I know uh, the most. <laughs> Maybe Gerda would like to say a few words about uh, the map and how it can be used in future okay. projects. I have only four minutes, so we can ask Gerdur first and maybe one more, one more of our friends. Gerdur? Unmute. No, I'm unmuted. No, I'm just very impressed with it. I think also that uh, it's very important for everybody to see, uh, to, uh, to see how spread it is actually, and they will uh, have much more opportunity to, to go and, and dive into it, give it time and to see what is happening. And I think it's very useful. And uh, so I don't have any, any, uh, any other things to say about it, actually. But I think for us here, it is going to be very, and I say with Giovanna, I think, uh, I think I agree with all of you. I think that basic income is, is the earth saver. I think what, without, uh, without UBI, we don't have a chance to save the earth. Thank you. So, that's it. So, and I think this is a, a fantastic tool to unite the world because we see how small it is. Yeah. Thank you very much. Maybe Janu would like to contribute. Dear Janu, are you? It's very early uh, at your place, I know. Okay, Janu. Please unmute yourself. You know. Uh, 
Okay, now it's okay. Hello. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. Congratulations for really great work with the maps. And this is absolutely important for us. Like in the future, maybe in Indonesia as well, we will have another network in different uh, provinces and different areas. So we can adding those, uh, our network in this map together. So I think it's also like ongoing uh, maps. And I hope that we can adding some information in the future, like every month we updating the map. Uh, since we are still working to uh, generate more networks within our country. So yeah, congratulations and thank you so much for making this happen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jano. Uh, we have two more minutes. Uh, Eva Maria, as a participating party from Hungary, would you like to say a few words? Yes, I am here. Sorry, <laughs> I have to push the button. Uh, this is a fantastic work what you did. I am astonished and I tried to share with some others here in Hungary and I don't know if they signed up or not, but uh, I will check it. And I hope that we can make it always up to date because it's very important. This is a live, lively map would, uh, will be, you know, this is very, very important. And uh, I am really, I can't say anything more because it's fantastic. Thank you very much, Eva Maria. Dear friends, our time is about to over. Uh, maybe uh, Hannes and Peter would like to say uh, any last words? No, Peter, no, Hannes. I can say one thing. Uh, you see, regarding this mapping of the networks uh, project, uh, we had received a presentation by Hannes uh, in one of our worldwide meetings. And then we said, we have such an idea, why not to merge them? And then with his uh, existing work and with this uh, networks uh, map idea, we come to this point. But what's in my mind is that uh, at the moment uh, in Turkey, we are also preparing a local map. Local map, what I mean, uh, it will be in Turkish and it will be for local NGOs, non-governmental organizations, societies, foundations, etc. cetera, uh, but not for uh, the ones who are supporting UBI, for the ones who are supporting the discussions related to UBI. So if you only consider the four UBI networks, it's a big problem because it's a new concept in Turkey. But uh, our idea is to promote the concept and we would like to collect the networks who are uh, for the discussion of UBI, maybe not UBI, maybe against UBI. It's not a problem, but we want the discussion to start. Uh, so we are finished with our first event, which was about the global map of universal basic income networks. And uh, I hope this infrastructure will be used by other networks and uh, there will be some international projects, some collaboration activities, some know-how transfers. It will be great, I hope. Uh, let's give a two minutes break uh, for the second event which is about uh, a survey. It is an interesting survey, especially politicians, I think, should follow it. Uh, dear Senator Eduardo, I hope you will stay with us in the second event too. I may, I may yeah. stay, but not for very long because I, I have an, uh, another meeting in half an hour, okay? Uh, we will start in a minute. It will be 30 minutes maximum. Thank you. <laughs>